Hey, Rob here, response for review, Malaysia Airlines. Many of you know this story probably better than me. Well over 200 passengers, they lost contact with them and just came on here as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to release faith and prayer for an absolute miracle of God. I mean, at this point, obviously, they're, they're embracing people for obviously a catastrophic situation. Their families are in the balance and Father, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. We are asking for a miracle. Lord, we believe and we receive a miracle for every passenger on board. In Jesus' precious name. I always believe for the best. I'm a minister. I'm the type of guy, by the way, that, you know, if you're pronounced dead, I'm coming to the hospital to raise you back, man. Resurrection power, just the way I am. I've buried many young people, by the way, here in the state of New York due to drug overdose, and we always contend for them to come out of comers, etc. But, uh, you know, my concern always as a minister, friends, is the topic of eternity. I mean, certainly those people never got on board that airplane that day and dreamed that this could possibly be their last day on the earth. Now, I'm not saying it is. I don't, no one knows the outcome right now. But the point I'm trying to make is eternity is without measure. Eternity is without end. We're all going to take our last breath one day unless someone out there is immortal and you found the fountain of youth and but uh, the reality is, is we're all going to take our last breath. And when we do, we either go up to heaven where there's life insurance or we go down to the basement where there's fire insurance, a place that Jesus Christ taught about in the Bible called hell. And hopefully I'm scaring the hell out of some of you. But the reality is, is God loves you. God wants you to spend eternity with him in heaven. And the only way you can have that is by having your life surrendered, submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And you know, God comes by invitation only. He'll never knock, crash, or blow the door down to your heart. You know, God gave us a free will so we can accept Christ out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. In other words, we're the ones that control the doorknob to our heart. And I promise you this, once you open the door of your heart just to crack, the Lord will come in with his great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness, most of all, his great love. And the Bible's clear about the love of God. It says in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world, he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would believe and receive Jesus, you would never perish. You'd have eternal life. And desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. God bless you if you prayed that prayer. Just trust in God for a miracle for every passenger on board, Malaysia Airlines. Be blessed, friends. The Lord loves you.